once again to the kitchen of Christopher's World Grill. Every time Chris takes a trip, we get a little uh, benefit from that. And this time, the recent trip to New Orleans brought back the idea for this recipe. That's right, our uh, French Quarter beignets. I've never done that on the show before, so I thought I'd show you how. Uh, now, you can go to New Orleans or you can order online the little box of beignet mix, and that's probably good too. But I've, I've been working on a recipe, internet, <clears throat> and uh, I, I, found, I found a really good French Quarter beignet recipe, so I thought I'd try it. First, we're going to start off with a little bit of uh, warm water, a cup and a half of warm water. And I've got one of those packages of dry active yeast, or uh, if you have a, a bunch of it around, you do a lot of baking, that's about uh, two and a quarter teaspoons. And I'm just going to stir that up a little bit. And I've got about a half a cup of sugar here and about a teaspoon of salt. And let that get dissolved in there. Now I'm going to let that sit there for about five minutes until it gets a little bit foamy. I've got a couple of uh, whole eggs that we need to beat. Now our yeast is ready. Sat there for about five minutes. We're going to go ahead and add our, our beaten eggs. A cup of milk. I've got seven cups here of flour. I'm going to add the first four cups and just mix that in really well. until it's nice and smooth. At this point I've got a quarter of a cup of shortening, a little, uh, little Crisco, something like that will do. Now this is all still warm. By the way, my milk was a little bit warm too. When you're working with yeast and you're trying to get that to go, it, you know, it breeds in uh, warm water. So not only was my uh, water warm, but I've warmed my milk also. Switch over to my wooden spoon and add the rest of my flour. Now after this is well mixed in, we're going to wrap it and put it in the refrigerator for about four hours. You can even leave this overnight in your refrigerator. So you can do this one day and roll it out and cut them the next day. Now I've taken this out of the, uh, the refrigerator. You can see it's still soft, but it's nice that uh, the shortening in there has firmed up a little bit. So I'm going to put a, a little flour on my cutting board. I'm just going to cut that in half, plop that on the cutting board just like that. Put a little bit more flour on top so I can work with this. I'm just going to pat that out a little bit. I'm trying to keep it in a square as much as possible because I'm going to cut these in squares. Now I'm put just to make sure I've got a little flour on my knife so nothing is sticking here. And I'm just going to cut them into a little, about one and a half inch, maybe two inch squares. Okay, so we've got our nice little square piece of dough here. We're going to start dropping those in the fry yard. So now we're just going to turn these over. Nice and golden brown on both sides and they're almost ready. Now these are golden brown on both sides and they just need to cook just a little bit because they're so thin. Got a little, of course you can use something uh, much smaller at home, but of course, you know if you've been to Cafe Du Monde, this is the way it's done. And actually, now we're gonna go ahead and pop these on our, on our plate here, just like this. Now, uh, French Quarter beignets are not complete unless you have a little bit of uh, cafe au lait. Now, of course, they do it great there. We're just going to do a little espresso with steamed milk. While that's going, we're going to steam our milk over here. Okay, we've got our little uh, espresso here. Now, I think their uh, cafe au lait is a little sweet, so I'm going to put about a half teaspoon of sugar in there just to sweeten it up a little bit. Steam the milk, just hold that foam back a little bit. A little hot milk there. I'll put just a little bit of foam on top. All right, Michael, here we are. Cafe au lait, a little French Quarter beignets. The only thing we're missing is a little uh, jazz music going uh, on the back. And yeah, exactly. This is uh, quite a moment that we're sharing together, I gotta tell you. Mm. So those are still nice and warm, fresh. And don't be afraid to dip in powdered sugar, dip them in your coffee, whatever you like. Also, you can get creative with this, spruce up the plate, strawberries, fruits. Sure, fresh, yeah. fresh like that. Okay, great. That's a right. traditional classic style, just powdered exactly. sugar and coffee. And, and they're just awesome. Let me just tell you, what a way to start the day. And if you'd like to access this recipe, all you have to do is go online to kbtx.com. Just click on to Christopher's Kitchen. We have all the recipes there, including the beignets we prepared for you this morning. Chris, it's been a pleasure. This is a real treat here. From Christopher's World Grill, for Chris Lampo, I'm Mike Wright.